guys ready for reptilia? Hello! Ha! <laughs> Friends and family. We got Steve, we got Dave. What's up? And we got this thing that I found in the trunk. I'm not sure who this belongs to, but is, is this yours, Steve? That's mine. This, this, this belongs to Steve. We're not here to judge you. I just wanted to. It's a Canadian thing. It's what Canadian. is it? This is how they do it in Canada. I don't know, Dave. There, there was in the trunk. Yeah. Did you no, open it's, it? It's Steve's. It's don't, fine. don't open it. Was this literally in the trunk? Yeah, it was fine. So obviously we're here in Canada, and the plan is to go to Reptilia, which is an awesome zoo, yeah, yeah, yeah. reptile type zoo that I, you know, I was actually thinking about going to last time we were here, but we went to Niagara Falls instead, which was also awesome. But I'm looking forward to checking out this place, and I'm gonna try and film it in a way that Dave doesn't film it, so you're not watching the same video when, when you watch Dave's video. I didn't know that Canada had traffic. I also didn't know that Canada had Englishmen, but look, <laughs> yeah. it does. We got Gavin, we got Kevin. That's a gun. We're going, we're going. <clears throat> hey Dave. Yeah. Are we gonna get there safely? No. Bam, made it to Reptilia. I think it was an old Home Depot, that's what Steve said. It used to be a Home Depot, but now it's got awesome stuff. So, we, here's what we determined so far. Dave is dangerous. He almost killed us three times on the way here. Like seven U-turns. Gavin kept playing with his seat belt. And uh, we found out Kevin is a true rock and roll fan. Steve is most mild-mannered so far. I'm sure that's gonna change the more coffee he has. <laughs> but we're going inside. You guys get out of my vlog. So what are you thinking about putting in there then? <laughs> so they got like a whole gift shop in here with... Look at this! I feel so at home now. Hey Dave, doesn't this make you feel at home? America, 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 God save your grace and peace. Oh, Canada. There we go. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just film all the stuffed animals in this place. Because A, I think the kids will love it. B, you can see animals that you'd never get to see in real life, like Brontosauri. Is that proper? Uh, Tyrannosaurus rex. You don't get to see these just anywhere. And the fattest narwhal the world has ever seen. That is a narwhal, right? So Cheryl's been kind enough to invite us in. My, my sister's name's actually Cheryl too, so I'm, people named Cheryl are very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> She's watching this too. Hi, Cheryl. All right, here we have a plumed basilisk. Uh, uh, Ryan, how do you oh, pronounce that's that? that's sick. A plumed basilisk. It's written in Canadian, I can't read that. Yeah, I know, you, you're having issues today. Yeah. A plumed basilisk. Blah, blah, blah. I did it again. All right, so here we have a plumed basilisk. first awesome thing I'm noticing about this place is that there's lots of space. Not just where the people go, but where the animals go. Uh, the displays look beautiful. Look at, look at all the space for these little geckos right here. Like there's these tiny geckos and they got this whole area to go cruise around in. That's, that's pretty sweet. Gecko enclosure over here. And it's huge just for one little dude. Did I say exactly what you just said? I was trying. If you guys watch Dave's vlog and it seems like my vlogs, because he's following me around saying exactly what I say. Same with the carpet pythons. I mean, they got this huge, and I like how they're like not super deep, so it's real easy to get in there and clean, but yet they have lots of space to run around. I'd love to have something like this going on Sunday myself. It would be really cool. Really cool. I'm going to be dreaming here all day. Thank you. 
so this this place is amazing. The amount of work they've put into all the enclosures, I've I've literally never seen anything that tops it to date. And the thing that's got me really jealous right now is this scrub python enclosure. I would love for one day to be able to walk out into my living room or any room in my house for that matter and have an enclosure like this for my scrub pythons. I mean, I feel like I, n I have a new life goal right now. It's to get an enclosure like this in my house. I'm gonna get there one of these days. I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at this huge enclosure right here. This is all for a little poison dart frog. I mean, there's a few poison dart frogs in here, but the enclosure is huge. Like, I could, I could live in this enclosure. I've lived in spaces smaller than this. For, for, anyway, uh, this place is amazing. One of the awesome things I'm discovering about being here is really figuring out exactly how many takes it takes Dave to talk about what he's talking about. So far I'm up to 27 and I don't have it right yet. <laughs> so this new location was built in an old Home Depot. Brian, you're making me very nervous. So this location, so this new location of Reptilia was built in an old Home Depot. So there's plenty of space in here and these cages are so well designed and really huge for all of these animals. And see, this is, this is what screws me up, right there, right there, this guy. So these cages are like, so these cages are really well designed and they're provide, so these cages are mother <laughs> Cheryl said I can go ahead and climb in with this 25 year old boa constrictor. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we call her Beast and then we have Gaston over there in the corner as well. And nice. of course we have a bell. <laughs> My pants aren't stretchy today. <laughs> Her owner had her for that length of time. Just recently decided that maybe she would do well in an environment like this where she'd have more space and perhaps get the chance to exercise a little bit more. So definitely one of my dreams as a kid was to be able to climb inside of the zoo enclosures when you're visiting places like this and uh, to get to actually do it is... I'm not... I'm not no, nothing. No words. Well, the iridescence is just looking fantastic on her. Stay in school, kids. Someday you'll be able to come. I'm gonna do a Dave now. <laughs> Stay <in> cool. <laughs> say one of my favorite things about places like this is like the ability to go see all these animals and get this footage of all these different animals up close like versus trying to go out to the wild to find all this stuff yeah. I and mean, we're talking about potentially months or years right yeah. of, to be able to get for me as a as I said to, to Dave to be a breeder or a keeper um, is one thing but to come and see these amazing animals in our own environment uh, up close and personal like you said you get a chance to see everything from all different continents up close and personal obviously very safe uh, the enclosures are absolutely awesome and just seeing the animals like this really does make you appreciate uh, as a person these animals in the wild and conservation 
uh, is something that you know is, is important to all of us. Even though you know I breed reptiles, it doesn't mean that I'm not all up for conservation and all that sort of stuff. So for me, seeing these animals in these enclosures is absolutely awesome, and I just can't get over. I mean, we have um, uh, reptile uh, houses and stuff like that at our zoos in the UK, uh, but for me, this is just purely dedicated to the reptiles, and it's just absolutely blows my mind. Yeah. Just when I was thinking I couldn't be any more mind blown with this place, then I walk over and see Nile crocodiles in a huge, enormous enclosure. It's like this place just keeps going and going. And I'm mind blown. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the footage of all the different animals that we've seen today so far. And uh, we're actually heading to a second location. Uh, I'm not going to film there. I'm just going to put the camera down and soak it all up myself. I hope this was good for you guys. I'm going to end the vlog here right now. And there's going to be a link for everybody else that was filming today. I'm going to put their video links down in the description or at least their channel links so you can go see the uh, other angles of everybody else that filmed here today. And uh, well, our next video, we're going to go to Billy's place and check out my top favorite snakes at his place. He's got crazy amounts of snakes to pick from, so that's going to be a tough pick for me. But Cheryl, thank you very much for having us. You're welcome. Very gracious host. And uh, if your kids are bored for some reason of all the animals, which I can't imagine happening, we got a whole play area in here. This place just, ah. Dave? Oh, I'm going in. I'm going in right here. I'm going in doing the slide. <laughs> well, first of all, we had the clutch hatch out. Where's the thing? All of these eggs that had snakes, they're, they all crawled out.